Girls what's the strangest thing you've masturbated with? I used to have a bed with a ball on the post, the post was only about about 2 feet high and the ball on the post was quite small, and I remember using that. Probably the counter in the bathroom at work. It's a one person bathroom. And the sink counter is exactly crotch height. I can hump it in such a way that the corner rubs my clitoris till I come. I've only done it once. PS2 controller. Venus razor handle. TBF it's curved. Ribbed and squishy. What did they expect? A cell phone with a tiny black and white display. Electric toothbrush. I once made a wooden dildo in woodshop for shits and giggles. For some reason none of my friends wanted to try it out. I feel like every feminine product is designed to double as a dildo for girls too young or afraid to buy a real one. I haven't seen a woman's airbrush that the handle didn't look like a small dildo. I'm not a girl. But there was a girl who put a latex glove on the tip of a broomstick and went to town at a bar in my college after closing one night. Powerful subwoofer. My ex-girlfriend said that she used the Harry Potter broomstick once. It vibrates. Top of a bed post. It was very dick shaped and it wobbled one day as I was changing my sheets. I got an idea and that night I went and unscrewed it and used it to masturbate. It was awesome. I was sexually active and very good with it. OMG. That's embarrassing. A curling wand. Obviously wasn't plugged in. But a little warmth makes it that much more real. In my short ER career. The strangest thing I fished out of a vagina. Was a tubular paper wad. 3 inches LX 2 inches D. Wrapped in a couple layers of packing tape. The AARP age patient volunteered it gotten by accident. I didn't ask any further questions outside of whether it was abuse related. It apparently wasn't. After removal she was very eager to leave. To the point of annoyance. Prior to this episode. Patient was what we call a frequent ER utilizer. And after this episode. I never saw her again. To date. It is the most effective method of resource abuse prevention I've seen. But in all likelihood. She is just being seen elsewhere. Not me. But a girl I was seeing was one of the girls that used to serve shots out of test tubes at a bar while wearing a g-string. Not a strip club. Just a regular club. One night I went to see her and we snuck behind a staircase and started making out and I started using one of the test tubes on her. Later her review was. That has the best action of anything I've ever played with. 10 stroke 10. Would Roger with science equipment again. Nothing all that odd. Actually. The usual electric toothbrushes and such. I guess the oddest was a cucumber. That doesn't even seem that odd. I had a rim and MS mini tube that I would use. Occasionally a vacuum cleaner attachment. But my favorite was this purple blow up stick that was acquired at a sporting event. I used to deflate it halfway. Get the deflated bit inside as much as I wanted and then twist it until it inflated inside me. Instant orgasm. I also fashioned ice dildos while on vacation. I missed a family photo session because of an ice dildo. Thank goodness I discovered sex shops. There is nothing like a Hitachi wand. When mum was cleaning the remnants of my sister's room after she moved out. The bottom of one of her boxes fell out and my sister's ghetto dildo was on display for all of us. It was a highlighter with a big lump of blue tack on the end for the head. With the whole thing stuck inside a condom. I had to leave the room for laughing so hard at mum's reaction. Knitting needles. I was super into knitting when I was like 15. And it helped with my anxiety. I used to take them to school and knit between classes. Wasn't long before I figured out the handle end was perf for hitting my G spot. I remember in an IT class once. Some asshole of a kid made a comment that I was like an old lady and probably masturbated with them. Hope he didn't notice how red I went. Hum. Pretty much anything I could get away with that would fly under my parents radar. So. Here goes. Glue sticks. An oddly dick shaped glass deodorant container. Markers strapped together inside a glove. An electric toothbrush which I covered with a water balloon every time so it wouldn't get scratchy. The well stuffed tail of my large tiger plush. Only once. Fuzzy things don't feel so fuzzy and nice in there. A long avoid manicure set container. Ends of hairbrushes. The butt of pool cues. Q. 
cucumber covered in a glove. And one of those silly squiggly pens that everyone else seems to have tried. Take that. Crazy repressive family. Anything I could do to find a bit of enjoyment growing up. So glad I figured out masturbation to help keep my own sanity. I remember first discovering that the jets in a hot tub felt amazing. There were four of us. All girls in the hot tub. We were only about 15 stroke 16 and my friend goes bend over in front of this jet. It feels amazing. And so that's when we all started doing it. All having orgasms. That was weird. One of those tubes of M&M minis before I was old enough to buy a real sex toy. It worked well. I think they still sell these. Lol. A toy Gandalf. Technically it wasn't really masturbation I just wanted to see if he would fit. A blanket pulled tight up between my legs that I humped until I came. It was awesome. I made a contraption using a spoon with a thick plastic handle. And the spoon part cupping this little soft toy I had that had a pull string vibration motor in it. I'd have probably preferred it to be a motor with a battery but I just worked with what I had. I imagine if I'd ever been caught it would have looked like I was try to start a tiny chainsaw inside myself. Those long candles. I was 15 stroke 16 and was interested in masturbation. I went into those AOL chat room to get tips. Guy told me to try a candle. Hurt like hell. Battery operated 90s squiggle pen. Also this weird pedicure machine thing my mom had that was basically a vibrator with detachable heads. Some of the heads were very soft plastic with grooves. Not sure what you'd actually use them for. Glue stick. It was the only thing readily available that could pass undetected in my room when I was a teenager.